Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying out something very different, very new. Um, you might have seen it around online because a lot of people have been doing it and I want to test it out for myself. This is a technique that's supposed to keep your face um, nice and matte and last throughout the whole day and be transfer proof and all kinds of crazy stuff that's just supposed to make your makeup stay on, stay put, budge proof, whatever. And it is called Jamsu? Jamsu. Jamsu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a Korean beauty trend. Basically what you do is you put on your foundation, your concealer, and then you pack the powder on your face and dip your face in a bowl of cold water. Now I've seen some people do it with ice water and some people do it with just cold water. I don't feel like having a brain freeze today, so I'm just going to use cold water, like cold tap water. And I'm going to see how it, how it goes. The word jamsu means diving or submerging which is basically what you're doing with your face and you have to hold your face in the water for 30 seconds is what I've heard. I don't know if there's varieties of ways to do this. This is just what I have seen so that's what I'm going to try and we'll see how it goes. It might be the latest greatest beauty thing or it might be a total dud. It's just after 10 o'clock. 10.09. So I'm going to wear this makeup all day and see how it holds up. So I'm going to start by putting on my foundation. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte because it's my favorite thing ever. And I already know how it performs regularly. So we'll see if it gets an extra boost from doing it this way. I forgot to wet my beauty sponge. I'm going to start applying this all over my face. I totally just forgot a primer. Oh well. I'm interested to see how this will look um, on my blemishes once I dip my face. Also, this sponge that I'm using, I talked about it in a Get Ready With Me that I filmed probably in November and I never edited. So for, you, for those of you wondering what sponge this is, it is a beauty sponge by Quo. Q-U-O, and it's a little bit smaller than a beauty blender, but it's the closest thing I've found texture-wise to a beauty blender. It came in a little pack of three. I got it just before Christmas time, so yeah, like November, beginning of December, sometime in there. came in a little pack of three, so uh, it was ten bucks, so I figured I'd give it a try, and I have just been loving them. But since then, I have not seen the pack of three anywhere. They do have other sponges that are shaped more like they've got like the round part on top and then they dip in right there and then they go down to a point, which I'm not a huge fan of those shapes of beauty blender or beauty sponges because I find the tip ends up being wider, not as small like this. And I like that small end to get underneath my eyeballs. So I'm not a huge fan of that shape. If I ever find these little packs of three again, I am buying a bunch of them because they're amazing. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I woke up with all kinds of breakouts this morning. So annoying. Okay. Foundation, concealer, on. I'm going to go get the bowl of cold water and then powder my face like crazy. So carrying a large bowl of cold water down the stairs is a tricky task. Now, I've seen some people use baby powder for this, but I've also seen people just use normal face powder. So I'm going to use my NYC Smooth Skin Powder. And this gets like packed on like a lot of it this feels a little bit hazardous because this powder goes everywhere and you breathe it in Ugh. and I'm covered in powder <laughs> So now that my face is thoroughly powdered, I'm going to stick my face in the water for 30 seconds. Okay. Fill on the bowl. 
Yep, it's on the bowl. Okay. Ah, it's so cold! <sighs> I just realized I don't have a towel on hand. Thank you. And now you just pat it dry with a towel. I missed a little bit of powder, but um, that was refreshing. Definitely looks nice and matte. It does look a little bit cakey in some spots. Uh, I have water up my nose. Ooh, it feels really smooth. Mm. My texture is definitely a little bit accentuated, which is kind of annoying. So if you have lots of texture on your face, this probably is not the best idea for you. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I will check back in with you and we'll see how it goes from there. So I didn't get very far into doing makeup and I can already say that this is a fail. I was just putting bronzer on and as I look closer at my face, this is already like sunk right into my smile lines. It makes my pores look huge. It looks cakey. It accentuates everything and it's just bad. So I'm not even going to finish doing my makeup and I'm not going to show you through the rest of the day because this is a fail. Big fat fail. I've seen it work on other people but for me and also my skin feels so dry. It feels like it's just like being sucked up and like just mm, yeah, yuck. it's gross. I'm not even going to finish. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how bad it is. Okay, like, look at all this texture on my face. It just looks terrible and cakey and patchy and my pores. It just looks bad. Under my eyes, it's all crinkly and dry. Like, look at all this. What is that? I don't even know what that is. But it looks terrible. Look at this. It's like all cakey around my nose. And it left like a nice little white ring of powder on my mouth. Yuck. Win some, you lose some. So even though this was a giant fail in my book, I'm still going to upload it. I still want you guys to see that I tried it out and that it didn't work for me. If you still want to try it, feel free. Tell me what you think of it. It might work for you. So that's it for this video, unfortunately. I was hoping it'd be longer than this, but I'm gonna sign off now. Before you leave, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see all my other videos. Hopefully they're not as bad as this one, but you never know, some things just don't work out. I'll see you next time, bye guys.